Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Mirivij Singh. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Today we're going to be looking at the 13 habits of mentally strong people. Number one, replace gratitude for pity. It's not always good to be pitying yourself. Remember, your situation could be a lot worse off. Always be grateful for what you have and what has been given to you. Mentally strong people count their blessings. Number two, maintain your solitude. Don't let your center of your internal self fall off balance. Don't let other people knock you off your center of gravity. Things around you could be going crazy. Things around you could be falling to bits. You yourself mentally must remain stable because that means you're not going to get emotional. It means you're not going to get knocked off your center. That means you'll be able to make the correct decisions and be able to communicate in the correct way. Number three, be a chameleon, be ready to change. What exactly does that even mean? Your environment around you could be changing from one minute to the next. People around you could be changing. You could, might need to even change jobs. You might even need to change situation. So being like a chameleon, be ready to move, be ready to make the change. Make sure you are adaptable. Number four, always ignore the uncontrollable. What's the point in thinking of things that you can't control? If you can't control it, you have no means of getting involved or doing anything about it. Why waste your headspace, energy, redirect it to the things that you can control. That is exactly what mentally strong people do. Things that you can control, get involved, learn, learn the techniques, learn the knowledge, talk to other people, get involved with the processes, make those changes. Number five, stop being a yes man or a yes woman. Saying yes, yes, yes to everything around you is not going to be of benefit to you because it means you're going to take on tasks that you don't want to get involved with, that have nothing to do with you in terms of your interests or beliefs. And therefore you're going to get stuck and you're going to be involved in things that are going to waste your time or things that don't even comply with your ethics. So what do mentally strong people do? They take a step back, they pause, they reflect and they even say, let me think about it. I'll get back to you and then have a think about what exactly you want to do in that situation. And you don't have to even respond. Then you could get back to them the next day in a week or whatever, but just stop saying yes to everything. People might not like it around you when you stop saying yes, that's tough luck. That's not your problem. Number six, mentally strong people take calculated risks. So yes, it's a risk, but it means you've done the workings out. You've looked at everything from the beginning all the way to the end. You've weighed up the positives. You've looked at the negatives and then you've ended up making a rational decision. And then you go forth and you hit that hard with all your skills and abilities. Without taking calculated risks, you will remain mundane. You will not be able to push yourself further and you won't be able to separate yourself from the crowd. Number seven, accept the past fears and mistakes that have been done or that you have done or that have been done to you. Letting go, challenging it, accepting it and moving past that to be able to become mentally strong. It means that whenever you encounter similar situations, similar beliefs, similar stressful circumstances, it means that you will not be affected in a mental, spiritual or emotional sense. It's essentially like any kind of superhero story like Batman. Conquer your fear, it allows you to become unstoppable. Number eight. Now this may seem so basic, but just don't make the same mistakes that you've already made before. Never get fooled. And if you do, don't make that same mistake again. It's so simple. Number nine. Remove jealousy and hesitancy and replace it with collaboration. Sometimes we can get bogged down thinking, well, I don't want to work with this person because they're a bit like X, Y, and Z, or we can think actually, mm, I'm not too sure. Well, actually, if that person has the same ethics, moral code, and outcome as yourself, even if you might not get on with them 100% and you think that they're not your best buddy, even if they are working for a rival organization or for us as doctors in a different specialism, you can work together for the best outcome for us. That would be the patient for yourselves. It might be the organization or something that you might be dealing with. Even though there are differences, if you combine your efforts because you have the ultimate same goal, you can have the best outcome. It's more productive. And that's what mentally strong people do. 
they remove their idea of their sense of self because of the best goal of the outcome. Number 10, almost nearing the end. This is having resilience to failure. You are going to fail, you're going to fall down, you're going to get knocked down by a hurdle, sometimes you're going to get hit by a brick wall, or sometimes someone might come from behind and whack you over and hit you on the head with a hammer. Not literally, hopefully, because that will be medically quite bad for you and the outcome is not very good. Um, I should know, this is my job. But <laughs> failure is something that one should get used to, it's something that is very normal and something not to be afraid of. Live and breathe the failure because it's going to teach you skills, knowledge and things about yourself that simply winning throughout life will never have taught you. How do I know this? I've been surrounded by people who have always won and got everything they ever wanted at the first go and when they got to their first failure it hit them like nothing ever before and a lot of them haven't even recovered from that and it's something that scares them whereas those of us that have failures overcome them and head on forwards and then not make those mistakes it actually means you are so much further ahead you're going to be performing so much better it just means that you're going to be damn strong number 11 be comfortable at being alone this means being spiritually in touch with yourself this is a habit that mentally strong people do you might not always be surrounded by people that you like you might even actually be properly alone and being comfortable within your own skin means you know who you are, you know what you're about, and it actually makes you very formidable. If you're always needing to be surrounded by people, it means that you're almost lacking some kind of quality that you're not able to be by yourself. Number 12, mentally strong people have humility over entitlement. If you're gonna walk around any business, any organization that you work for with this sense of entitlement for whatever reason, it's not going to bode well, it's not going to end well for you. Whereas if you have humility, you're going to be respected a lot more. People are going to give you more of their time. It also means that you move past this sense of I, this ego. Now remember, humility doesn't mean that you're a pushover. It doesn't mean that you're a yes man. It just means that you are humble in the situations that occur. You can still be powerful, you can still be formidable, you can still be a great leader. Number 13 perseverance. Results will not come quick. You will not get to the end goal as quickly as you may like. There will be problems as we've discussed earlier, there will be hurdles, there will be failures, but perseverance is the key. If you persevere, you will finally then reach that end goal. It's a bit like me with this YouTube channel. I'm persevering. I don't get many followers. I don't get many views, but I enjoy the process. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy learning for myself. I enjoy everything that I do and I do it in my spare time. Why? Because I'm mentally strong. Well, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Let's grow this channel so that I can do more videos, which will only be of more benefit to yourselves and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.